Hey guys, welcome to the very definitely final episode of Metroid Zero Mission. This time we're taking on the NES Metroid, which came out in 1986 on uh, Famicom Disk System, I think, or Famicom, whatever, the Famicom and the NES. And I'm actually kind of happy right now because I did some research um, after the last episode and I found out that, or I did the math, and I realized that Zero Mission came out... 18 years after um, this game, and this is the 18th episode, and I just I love little stupid trivial things like that. Uh, but also, <laughs> I'm terrible at this game. Like it starts off with 30 health for some reason, and yeah, it's like we have a full energy tank. We have an energy tank. It's just not full when we start off for whatever reason, and we can't aim at these guys because hitting down just jumps us straight to morph ball. Um. That said, I'm gonna probably, you know, do my best to show this off because it's it's still Metroid, you know? Ha 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 ha. Oh. Ah, now I'm now I'm almost dead. See that's how quick it happens. Especially when you start off with less than optimal health. Ha ha ha. Okay, that sucked. And so do these bug things. Like they're just they go all the way down and you can't shoot them and it's just... Ow. Ah, 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 ah. And there's no save rooms, so if I die I get sent back to the beginning, but I keep my upgrades, which is nice. That's, uh... Nothing. Okay. I'm trying to get some health. Because this game thought it would be a good idea to start me off with a little bit of it. Uh, another big change is that all of the upgrade doors require missiles to open. So, I'm going to need to find those before I can get the long beam. And, yeah. Um. Let me see. What am I thinking of right now? I don't know, I'm just, this, this, this beeping noise is kind of interfering with my thought process right now. So, I'm trying to, there we go. Now I can think. I'm not the biggest fan of this game, as I've mentioned it quite a few times. For a number of reasons. The starting health is one of the bigger ones. And I guess a part of the reason I don't like it is because um, my first Metroid games were Zero Mission and Prime. So I'm kind of spoiled, I think, when it comes to Metroid. Because I, I started with a couple of the best games in the series. I mean, I still like the other ones, but this one's just kind of... I don't know, it's weird to me. Also, it's technically the worst reviewed Metroid game. Because it got, like, I think mid-70s because of a lot of... Or I guess when it came out, it got like mid-70 reviews and, and everything else has gotten above that, even Other M. So, yeah. Um, but we ah, need to stop getting hit because we don't have much health. And that's not a great way to not get hit. Come on, hero. You're better than this, or, well, maybe not. But yeah, this is the NES Metroid. I'm terrible at it. Um... I think I'm going to announce the uh, results of the little poll thing I did on the day this is uploaded on my Twitter account, because obviously I'm recording this in advance. But, yeah, I can't even aim down, by the way. Like, if I try to hold down, it just does nothing. And you can still see a lot of, like, the original rooms, or, like, how they got re-implemented in the uh, remake, which is, I think, kind of neat. But there's still, like, these screes that are a pain to kill because we can't really, you know, shoot for very... Ha! Huh, I almost got him. There we go. Don't respawn. And these guys are still here, except they respawn, like, instantaneously until you... Ha, ha, ha. 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 And they still do the thing where they don't respawn until you grab health. Ah, leave me alone. Actually, stay, no, don't leave me alone, because I need your health. Oh, bastard. Ah, oh, bastard. Okay, there we go, I've got a plan here. I'm just going to do this until I get like 40 health, I think, because I really need it. <laughs> yeah, I can't shoot anything right now with the small beam. Luckily, I'm getting a lot of health. 
Come on. There we go. That, I'm just, I'll be good with this, I think. Hopefully I can get some more with the uh, screes. A little bit. 39. Cool. Oh, there's... They can't walk on lava. That's nice to know. I can't either! Oh god. It's like jumping... Or doing the somersault jump, whatever it's called. Has like a worse arc of movement because you're always... Oh god! Doing this. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Yeah, I'm, I'm great at this game. And as I said, if you restart, you get a password, which I'm not a fan of because I don't like writing things down. But you start off back here. Yep. And now we have the missiles, though, so we don't have to worry about going back through that pathway. We can just go straight to the long beam. I have full, full missiles. I don't need those. And there's a glitch, I think, if you have the bombs where you can, like, go into these doors and do a bomb jump because these things close after a couple seconds, which they stopped doing because of this glitch, and you can, like, go through walls and access, like, extra rooms, kinda. And yeah, I'm not gonna do it because I don't know how to do the uh, glitches in this game. There's also a glitch where you can just get the ice beam... And, or if you get the ice beam and the bombs, you can do a little um, sequence break to beat the game where you only and you only have to fight Crate, I think. Because in this game, beating the bosses gives you a 75 missile boost. Ridley and Crate, at least. I don't think Mother Brain does, but she's also the last thing you fight in this game. And I've seen exploitive th runs where like they just get the ice beam and the missiles and the bombs, and they do this weird jump trick where they freeze something in the uh, boss room thing and then they just kinda can jump off of it into the elevator and it's really neat. I'm not gonna do that though because I suck at this game. As you can tell by me getting hit by everything and having to go through this thing twice. But hey I'm getting health occasionally. And I think in general one thing I really like about the Metroid series is that it's non-linear, but at the same time it kind of is. Because um, while you're free to definitely like explore at your leisure and do whatever, there's like a, a kind of a path that the developers imply, I guess. Like in the original Metroid, or Zero Mission, they want you to get the long, the uh, Morph Ball, then the Long Beam, then, um, what was it, Missiles, and then the Charge Beam, and then Bombs, and so on, like that. But in this game, you're free to pretty much... Or, well, not in this game, sorry, it's just, you're, but you're also encouraged to explore, you know, look around, try to find more power-ups, and maybe even sequence breaking. And now we can avoid this door, just go straight up. Hey, we have 50 health. It's a Christmas miracle. And here's the room. This time the music changes. Oh, and another thing about this game that's kind of awkward to me is because of, uh, like, memory issues... A lot of the rooms are exactly the same. And that's just kind of awkward. Oh, see how this door is uh has like green accents? If I hit the uh the select button switches to missiles and you can see the door also changes colors because of limited palette. And the missile doors take five to open in this game. Unlike I think I think Metroid 2 and Super Metroid also had the five missile door thing. But now we have the long beam. But I think it was every game after Super Metroid has just one missile door. Whoa, 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 whoa. And now I can shoot these guys from up here. And get their health. Awesome. I still can't shoot down, though, so... Haha. <laughs> and now... I think the next thing we should get is the bombs... So let's try to do that. No promises, because I'm terrible at this game. And there's no background as well. Like, everything's just black behind the uh, main stuff. And I'm going to need missiles, so I better work on that. Ah. And it's still kind of awesome how they, you know, that they managed to do all this stuff with such limited uh, resources, you know? I mean, I don't, I, I don't like this game as much, but it's not bad. It's just not what I'm used to, I guess. 
I mean, I'm spoiled. I kind of mentioned that earlier. Uh, and this game is terrifying sometimes. Oh god, I hit the missile button. Oops. Oof. Ow. There we go, health. Ah, uh, you didn't go through the door. Sometimes enemies will go through the doors if you're going through them too. Oh, that was a big health. Ah. Uh, uh, and because of the way the flashing thing is, I can't see my character because they turn invisible for like the you know, the frames that are specifically being recorded. And now I'm losing all the health I got from that one guy. And I'm down to 30 again. I'm amazing at this game, by the way, if you didn't know by watching me play it. Uh, ow. I hate this enemy. However, I believe there is a energy tank in this area. Hopefully. Yeah, right there. And energy tanks in this game, well, they're useful because they restore your health completely. But I'm still going to need missiles, so let's hope for that. And I've got a miss energy tank now, which is nice. Didn't actually expect to get this far, honestly. And I'm almost okay with my progress right now. Ow. I don't need health right now. Well, I mean, I kind of do, but I also really don't. Ow. Come on, give me missiles. I need to get missiles to get through the door, to get the thing. And I need to stop getting trapped down in these guys. And I think there's a vertical, yeah. And that's something I kind of mentioned in the original, in the Zero Mission playthrough, was that this game added vertical areas as well as horizontal, which was kind of a change from the norm at the time. And this should be the door I need to take, I believe. Ah, oh, come on, get back down. Ah, 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 what are you doing? No, give me the thing I need. Yes, that thing. Okay, and there should be a zoomer. Health is okay, I guess. I'm not gonna complain. Except I totally am. What the hell's wrong with you, zoomer? Give me what I need! Mer. Come on, die, 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 die. Ah, you have way too much health. Oh, if I kill him way up there, I'm not going to be able to get the power up, so I shouldn't do that. Whatever. Any more zoomers that are going vertical? <sighs> no, and I have no way to kill this guy until it goes to... Oops. Hey, you respawned. Cool. Hey, missile. That's what I need. Yay. And now I'm going to wait for this guy to pass, because I don't want to get... I have zero health! <laughs> Let's missile... There we go. And this should be the bomb. The Chozo statues are remarkably tiny in this game. And now I can do this. Does this go anywhere? Oh, and also, I think, now that I'm thinking about it, to do that glitch I was talking about. I can't do it now because missile doors don't open or close. Ah, these zoomers. I have to, like, jump right when I'm on top of them. Oops. Wrong way. Wrong button. Or wrong movement. See, I think if I go here... Nope. Wrong one. It's because I can drop a bomb, then stand up, and then I'll get a boost. But I don't know what to do after that, so whatever. And I think now, what I'm going to do... Well, I can't go up here because I don't have the ice beam yet, so I can't go that way. I mean, I could get the ice beam now, but I don't feel like making a lot of progress in this episode. Because that's pretty much where I stopped in the last, in the first time was me getting the ice beam. So I'm just going to go ahead. And I think I'll show off the boss room. The boss gate thing at the very top, which leads to Turian. Because it looks a lot different in this game. Ah, you died. Oh, well, I have no secondary thing. 
My entire first thing is done. I'm not helping it by dropping into the lava either. Lava, stop dying. Stop making me the dead. Ah. Might be easier to just die anyways and let myself respawn so I don't have to worry about going through all this crap. But whatever. I have three health right now because I am the best at this game. None of you can tell me differently. There we go. Now I can just... Come on. Yeah. And this part I actually know how to do because, you know, I've done it a few times. <laughs> and uh, I think after I finish this, I'm going to stop... Like, my next playthrough isn't going to be a Metroid game. Because I feel like if I just did all the Metroid stuff at once, everyone would get burned out on it, including myself, and I don't want to do that. So, um, I'm going to have to do some serious thinking about what I'm going to do after this. I have a couple ideas, but, you know, I'm, I'm also kind of indecisive sometimes. I'm going to need missiles to get through the boss door, so let's do that. Also, this guy is still here. But I can't bomb jump like I used to. Oh, now I have a way to attack ground enemies, by the way, with the bombs. Not a great way, but it's still a way, you know. And I still can't attack the, the, the rippers, that's what they're called, yeah. Isn't there like a thing where I can jump after? Because I was also I was watching a speed run of this game, and people who are better at this game did a thing where they like can jump after doing like a morph ball fall off a ledge or something. I don't know. I'm not gonna try it because I'm not the greatest at this game. Still, I know big surprise, right? Oh, there we go. I have five. I find it sad that you still start off with 30 health, even if you have a uh, energy tank. Because, you know, they could, uh, that could be useful, you know, having to not start off with 30 health. Because the best way to refill your health is going to be energy tanks, but if you have full energy tanks and you have to restart, well, then you're kind of screwed, you know? I don't know. I'm just kind of blah. I'm just kind of rambling right now. It's what I do. Wait for the Ripper to go past so I can jump over. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Oh, God. Everything's going worse than expected. Uh... I have 18 health. If I get one more or two more down, I'm going to start beeping. Luckily, there's a health right here. Ah, like that. Let's kill him. And then we'll go ahead and jump. Jump. Shoot! Nothing. See, when I really need health, I get missiles. When I really need missiles, I get health. I don't want that to disappear, so I'm going to come in from the top. Ah, I failed and it disappeared. This video is getting long. I'll have to stop soon. But not until I do the thing I said I was going to do. Because that's how I roll. Hopefully I can just not get hit for the rest of the game. Because if I can do that, everything's going to be okay. I'm really glad that bombs don't damage you, because I feel like that was probably some sort of thought during the development of this game, because, you know, everything else can hurt you. See, like that. I know this room. There's gonna be... Don't die, don't die, don't die. I said don't die. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to call this the episode. Because <laughs> I don't feel like going through all that again. And we're like at 20 minutes now. And 
Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed me failing at the original NES Metroid, guys, because it's all you're going to see of it. <laughs> what are we going to do next? Uh, I think I'll announce the winner of the poll on my Twitter account, because I'm obviously recording this days in advance. So, and there's a link to that in my channel, on the little channel art thing, I think. So yeah, I'll see you then, guys. Bye.